So this is networking for beginners. I appreciate networking is hard. Words are hard. Sorry, let me start again. <laughs> trying to say is networking is hard, talking is hard. Let's go through this. All right. How do you talk to people? You stand in front of them and you press A. That's how you do it. Thank you for your talk. Catch you later. All right. No. My friend uh, said if I was doing a networking talk, I should talk about routers and switches and things like that, which is my old job. And that's a really bad joke, so I wasn't going to do that. But here we are. So my name is Quang, if you don't know. I have a relatively unique name in terms of in this country. And there are other Quangs. I've never actually met another Quang, but there are many other Quangs. My name is kind of an onomatopoeic name. It's kind of like the sound Cap Mecha Shield would make if you hit Colossus in the face. Quang. I'm telling you this because it helps you remember my name. And being memorable is very important. Uh, in a sea of meeting people, it's very easy to forget people's names. I'm terrible with names. But if you can give someone something to cling on to, a memory, a story to go with it, they will more likely to remember you. So I go with this. As Jupiter said, I run a small micro industry studio called Sobi Tech. I've been doing it for about 15 years. It's, we started off as a hobby project. I had a day job, and in the last three years, we've become full time, and I currently make games for the Game Boy, so new games for old systems. It's very niche, but people enjoy it, and it's going well. Asobi Tech is a mixture of Japanese and English words. Asobi is the Japanese word for play, and tech is the English word for a science, hence the science of play. This represents the two halves of my upbringing. Uh, I'm Vietnamese born, came over very young, and have had a West upbringing. I started with ZX Spectrum, so I learned to program on a Western machine, played many Western games, but I love Japanese games, the arcades, the consoles, and all that. So I have a very East-West upbringing, and Asobi Tech reflects this. I'm going to give you advice that I picked up along the way. I will preface that with, I am a straight male who lives in London. I've had a job that has allowed me to do a lot of things I could do. So I, I'm speaking from a, a place of privilege, I guess, for many reasons. So some of this advice may not be relevant to you, but hopefully you can garner some sort of advice from it. But I am very aware that the things I've done in my past were linked to where my position in life. That makes sense? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so, are you an introvert, an extrovert, or ambivert? As I understand it, being an introvert and extrovert is where you get your energy from. So I will happily come out to do events, do talks like this, but I'm an introvert. So after tonight, I'll go home and hide in a dark corner and recharge. An introvert gets the energy from, from relaxing and, and being by themselves, where an extrovert gets the energy from talking to other people and being around people. Don't get me wrong, I love talking to people, I love having conversations, but it's draining and it uses a lot of energy. There's a thing called masking, which people do especially if you're introvert or neurodiverse, where you, I guess, pretend to be an, a regular person. I do this a lot, and it's tiring. So, being an introvert and extrovert doesn't dictate whether you can socialize or not. It dictates how much you can socialize, when you need to be charging that, but you can still do the things. You can still learn the things you can do to socialize. So if you're in video games, you should know about iteration. This is the most important thing in video games, is to iterate. You make something quick and fast, and you refine it, make it better and better and better. This is the same with networking. When I first started going to events, I would turn up, sit in the corner by myself for about a few hours, then go home. Because that's how 
I felt I didn't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to be comfortable. But over time, I started meeting people and you get more comfortable. So the more you do it, the better you get, you get at it. So like video games, you iterate on your socializing. So the fact that you're here, it's a great start. Well done you. What can I come in? Conversation. So conversations can be tough with people you don't know. Because one, because you don't know them. <laughs> but you need to understand that conversation has to be a two-way thing. It's very easy when you're nervous just to talk at someone, but you need to talk with them. When you talk at someone, they don't they will tune out very, very quickly. Things you can do to help with this is ask them about them. It's, it's more like a tennis match. You need a rally to go back and forth. It's not a one-way thing. I know many people who have games and want to pitch to publishers, they'll meet someone and who either is like an influencer or a, uh, a marker, and then you literally just talk at them as you're pitching your game. That's not how you create a relationship with someone. I know it's very easy to do that because you're focused on, I'm going to tell them about my game and be great, but that's not how you build a relationship. You need to make relationships. I'm seeing faces around here that I recognize and I've met along the way, which is great. I've been doing this for about seven years in terms of networking, going to events and things like that. And every time I go meet someone, I meet someone new. One of the best things you can do in a group situation is to introduce your friends to someone else. Don't make it about you, make it about other people. Growing your network is very important. The reason we get to do talks, we get to do things, is because of who you know. Like, I don't care how talented you are, it's, it's an unfair world we live in, and it ultimately comes down to who you know. So I know Jade for quite a while now, I know she's good at audio, we wanted to give a talk, I know Jade would give talks, so I go, Jade would be great for this. I'm sure there's other people who may be as talented and as capable as Jade, but if I don't know you, I can't ask you to come and give a talk. But if I've had a conversation with you and I've made a rapport with you, we've had a tennis match, you know, it means I will understand and I can ask you to do things. We've had Ryan give talks, uh, he's going to open blankly, uh, Jukes has given a talk, um, and the reason we've done this together is because of who you know. So conversations are important for that. In Japan, there's something called Meishi Kugan. As, uh, basically, is this card transition. So when you introduce yourself, when you meet someone else, it's very tempting to give them your, your business card because you want to get your name out, you want to give your business card. This is quite rude to do in general. Because <laughs> you don't start with that. A better way to do it is to ask them for their business card instead. It's a much nicer process because it means you're interested in them, you want to know about them. But so asking for their business card is much nicer than offering your business card. Theoretically, if they give you, your, give you their business card to you, they should ask for your business card back, theoretically. But that's a much nicer way to do it. In Japan, there's a very, like tea ceremonies, there's a very specific way of giving cards. This is given by placing your card outwards and given with both hands. Uh, you don't have to do it this way, you can do it however you want, but this is a very nice way to make yourself memorable. Earlier I was talking about being memorable and having a process of giving cards out. You go to an event, you probably get like 50 cards very easily. You go to develop, people hand cards, you left, right, center. And it's very easy to forget all about all of them. By handing them out this way, you will make an impression. You can do it however you want, but this is quite a nice way of doing it. You can go look it up, uh, Nishi Kokan. Great. I have a picture of my face on the card because people will sometimes get cards and don't remember who they are. There's a Game Boy in there because that's what I'm doing at the moment. There's a space on the card to write stuff. Because sometimes people want to write down a note about you and if they don't have anyone on the card, write it. So this is how I've made my card. Okay. If you don't have business cards or you feel like not working, there's other ways of doing it. Introduce yourself. Um, so I created something a while back called the Indie Selfie. It was originally hashtag Indie Dev Selfies which is a very long hashtag, and then excluded people. So we've shortened it and shortened it and shortened it, now we have hashtag any selfie. These are various selfies I've taken with various people along the way. Um, you may recognize a few people. This, 
for me, it's a great way to remember someone. I will take a picture of them, tweet about it, tag them in the tweet, write something in the tweet about them and where I met them. This helps me remember names, faces, and places. And not only that, the people in, especially group ones, will also retweet you to their network and help or help spread your name. You can see my face is pretty much front and center each one of those. So that helps get my face out there. Oh, I didn't talk about it. Okay, let's go back a bit. This logo. Uh, so to be ages to design this logo to represent East and West, I would wear, see that's coming up, isn't it? I'm going to wear this way. There we go. I knew it was somewhere. So I would wear a t-shirt with my brand on it for many, many years. Specifically this one in different colors. And I would keep going to events wearing my t-shirt because it's something that people can recognize. I would get to a point where people would come up to me and go, I know your logo. I don't know who you are, but I recognize your logo. And that would start a conversation. So very important, you start, can start conversation. This is a good way to start conversations because people recognize it. Uh, there's a thing in advertising where they say you need to see something between three and five times before it sinks into your brain. And that's why when you see someone drinking a Coke in a movie, it's like, I'm drinking a Coke. You don't mention it, the Coke's there. And they will pay like millions of dollars to have the Coke in a movie because it is eyes on the product. And even if you're not gonna buy Coke that day, maybe the next day, the next day you see another Coke, you see another Coke, you see another Coke. Well, there you go, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna have a Coke. Hence, your logo and your be, okay, being memorable is what's important. Uh, I hate that poll. Anyway, anyway, to be even more memorable, I was doing a game called Mama Castle, a game about a flying cat dragon who chases rainbows. I would wear this tiger onesie. Hashtag, mate, I'm a tiger. It used to be yellow, and everyone used to think it were Pikachu's. It wasn't Pikachu. So I got an orange one instead, small tiger. You can see I'm still wearing my t-shirt underneath, the Sobitech t-shirt underneath. Uh, I have one leg rolled up. Can anyone guess why I rolled up one leg? Yes, that's also true, hence my sleeves are rolled up. But the reason I have one leg rolled up is so people would ask me about it. I would literally walk across an event hall and people would go, excuse me, why is one of your legs rolled up? Well, it's so that you would talk to me and we would have a conversation about, about that. Again, it's about being memorable, about starting conversations. This all ties into that. Be present. The, again, the fact that you're here is wonderful. Coming to events, coming to EGX, going to develop, local meetups, this is all important because it's all part of being network, being seen. It's all very good. You sit at home making a wonderful video game, but as soon as you finish it and want to market it, no one knows who you are. Uh, coming to events, people will get to know you and know who you are. This is me in the front row at Develop at the last talk. My brother's here and a few of our friends on the side of us. When you go to talks, sit in the front row. It's scary, I know it's scary, but sit in the front row because the person giving the talk will see you. Usually you don't see much further than the first two or three rows. People take pictures, and you get to be in pictures, and you get to be on the website. So I'm on the developed website because I sat in the front row. Always ask questions. If a speaker is asked, do, are there any questions, ask one. Even if it's just small, just trying to think of something along the way, as they're giving the talk, think of something, because that will, again, help people remember who you are. Go, hi, I have a question. Hi, I'm Quang from Asobitech. This is my question. So introduce yourself, give the question, and then people will hear your name. Again, it's still doing the advertising thing where you're just adding to the, the permanence of someone's brain of who you are. So every time I'm developed, I would try to ask a question. Sometimes I mess it up, but it's okay. Because if you go back to iteration, it's okay to make mistakes. I've made many mistakes along the way and being who I am, I still think about them and I cringe every night about them because, you know, that's the sort of brain I have. But it's okay to make mistakes. You will get better at it. Right now, I'm super nervous giving this talk. 
but hopefully it's coming across okay. But it's because I've practiced, thank you so much. Because uh, I've practiced and practiced and practiced, and I've iterated on, on what I do. Bear in mind, I've been up, I was up till 4 a.m. trying to finish this talk. I haven't slept much, so not my best work. All right. Be present. Okay. Big part of being in the community is doing stuff for the community. John F. Kennedy did a great speech once and said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. And when I slightly reword that to, ask not what your community can do for you, ask what you can do for your community. Quang, by the way, JFK. This is important because it's very easy to focus on yourself and your own projects. But this doesn't help you grow your network, grow the people you know. If you can help other people do stuff, they will remember that. There's a thing called Quang is... Did I talk about this? Okay. Um, there's a thing called Quang is Awesome that went around for a while. Uh, if you Google that, there's a website and everything. And basically, all the people I've helped along the way did pictures with Quang is Awesome sign and they put it up. I hate talking about it because it feels... Yeah, just feel, but it's the thing. But this is because I ask what I can do for my community. I run these meetups for the community. I organize things for the community. I, um, uh, again, when you're introducing, when you're talking to people in the group, you introduce your friends for the community. It's not about you. But people will remember this. People will, will, will appreciate this. So yeah. So, that's my talk, pretty much. Weird is all I got, that and my sweet style. I love this quote because I'm weird and I know it, but it's okay. As long as people remember who you are, and you practice at talking to people, you be present, you get involved with things, that should help. Thank you very much. <laughs>